Doesn't that look good? It is dessert time. Hi everyone. This is a poor man's pudding and that's what we're going to make today. Real simple ingredients and oh so yummy. Let's get started. So the first thing we need is some ingredients. A little bit of flour, brown sugar, some raisins, sugar, baking powder, nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon, some salt, and butter. Oh, a little bit of buttermilk or milk, about a half cup. And that's all that's in this. So let's get a bowl and let's get started. That's one cup of flour, three teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon, two teaspoons of baking powder, and it's a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. That's our dry ingredients. We mix it all around. Now we've got some butter, three tablespoons. And I cut it up into small slices, put it in the fridge. Now I'm going to cut that up into even smaller slices because unless you have a, a pastry knife, that eh, makes it a little tough and i got to do this by hand. Not the end of the world. I mean, I guess that's how they used to do it in the old days. And your hands get a little dirty, but you want to mush it down until the butter's pea size or even a little smaller. I hear tell you can also do that in a food processor, just never tried it. Next is our raisins, three quarter cup of raisins. Mix that all around. Now we've got a half a cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, just use milk. Now this is going to be a little stiff. I guess you could make it a little thinner with a little extra milk. I didn't, I was just following the recipe. So it is kind of thick, don't over mix it. Here's our pan, nice square pan. We're going to line it with parchment paper. We are going to put some liquid in this, so we definitely want to line it. And now the fun part, getting it to mush down so I can put my batter in. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Here's our batter. Watch it ploop down. And it isn't a ton of batter. I was a little worried. I mean, if you're making for a lot of people, you might want to double the recipe. But for what I was doing, for the few people that were here, it was just right. And you try to spread out. It may not spread out all the way to the edges, which this one didn't. And we're going to set it aside. We need a sauce to go with this batter, so I've got a measuring cup. And this is one cup of kind of hardened uh, brown sugar, along with two tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to set that aside because next up is, I've got my measuring mug. I need some butter to go in there. It's about a tablespoon of butter. This is a cup of boiling water. So, of course, I'm just going to stir the butter around until I get it dissolved. I guess I could have just thrown it in with the brown sugar. Probably would have done the same thing. So here's our brown sugar and flour. In goes our cup of boiling water with the butter. And we still need another half cup of boiling water. So it's a cup and a half of boiling water. And now we're going to mix, 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 mix. We need the brown sugar dissolved. The butter melted and the flour all nice and combined. And with a little bit of stir and a little bit of patience, it's looking kind of good. Let's bring our batter in. Well, there you go. And the batter is not all that thick either, by the way. Not the end of the world. So here we go. We're going to pour the sauce, well, what will be sauce, onto the batter. And I was a little worried about not being even, but you know what? Since it buried the batter, I don't think it really mattered that much. There you go. That's all the liquid. Now this is going to go into the oven. 350, preheated of course, for 30 minutes. And when we're done, ow, 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 hot out of the oven. There you go. Look at our batter's cooked. 
looks pretty good and most of that sauce is done it's still not it's still a little runny so you're supposed to let it sit for 15 to a half an hour and since dinner's not quite ready that works out perfect let's put it aside let it cool down and after that let's get ourselves a bowl so I'm going to chop off a corner piece and lo and behold, look, all that liquid's pretty well been absorbed into our batter, our pudding. There's a little bit in there, and I'm going to put that on top, so I've got a little bit of sauce to go on top. And I guess if you wanted more sauce, you just make a bigger batch. There. And believe me, it doesn't look like much, but I need some more sauce. But that little bit in that bowl is just the right amount of dessert after a nice meal. Yummy. That looks pretty good to me. And it's still warm too. So we got us a spoon. We got our pudding. It's simple ingredients and I think it's a winner. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.